Hi everybody, welcome back to Shell Star Stitches. Hope you are all okay. Um, this is just a quick intro for um, the hand dyeing video I'm gonna show you. I think I did an intro on that as well, but um, I did some hand dyeing yesterday because the weather was lovely here and still is today. Um, so yeah, so have a look at what I'm about to show you and then I'll catch you back in a second to show you the finished results. Hi everybody, welcome back to Shell Start Stitches. Um, glorious weather here in England today, so I am going to try some more hand dyeing. So I thought I'd show you, the yarn is, if you've seen my previous video, it's in the, um, in the saucepan, in the pot, bubbling away in the citric acid to pre-prep it. Um, but I need to make up some new colours, so I thought I would show you that. Um, I've already touched some of the pots without putting gloves on, so to get them out for the video. So let me put my gloves on. I've just got a massive box of uh, disposable gloves. I know, not great for the environment, but I can't really do them in rubber gloves. I have tried. I struggle to get rubber gloves that fit um, my hands. But I do try and reuse these um, rather than single use if I can to save the environment because I'm very, very anti making mess. Right, excuse me, oh, I'm in shorts because it's so hot. I don't want to expose myself. And my garden is very lumpy and uncomfortable. So, um, we have here, um, you can't see it's off screen, but I've got my hand dyes ready to go. So, I've got the pots here, the purple. I've got two different, these are my ones from Siobhan. And then I have one here from uh, Colourcraft. So that's my uh, turquoise. So I do have some left in these bottles. So I'm just gonna kind of half top it up. I'm gonna put a little bit more powder in just so it's not um, weakened with the water. Um, so yeah, we'll try that. We'll see. I'll try not to make a mess. So if you can't see me, never mind. You need to look at, uh, let's look at the dye. Let me see if I can turn you a bit and bend you a bit this way. So you won't be seeing me. Oh, she says. Not very good at this. Right, so I've got my bottles here and my powders here and I've also got a jug of hot water which we need. Uh, right, so I'm going to open the turquoise first. It's got squeegee bottles and I'm going to then carefully open my powder and try to get some out with the spoon. This doesn't always work, so if my spoon doesn't fit in the pot so we'll try and tip a bit out onto the spoon. I think that's about enough. I don't think we need those. And we're going to try and get that into there now. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. For the most part, for the most part it's in. I'm going to quickly cover that up so we don't spill that everywhere. Right. I'm just going to blow this over here. <laughs> blow the spare away. And then we're going to pour in some of the hot water. go and find my lid again put the lid on have to be a bit careful because this is hot water and these plastic bottles aren't great because they're quite thin uh, I've got a bit of old tea towel here just to wipe around the edge oh I'm gonna overturn it hold my finger on the top and we give it a shake now that bottle's quite hot mix that all in we're going to need some more hot water actually. Oh, we haven't bought out quite enough, but I'm only going to use actually. Um, oh, I should have filled that one up more. A little bit of the turquoise, but anyway, there's the turquoise done. Let's do the purple. Um, right, we'll take the lid off. Leave that there. Uh, make sure we get the right colour. Here we go electric purple. Excuse all the noises out here, if you can hear noises, I'm in my garden, so. Right, I'm gonna have about that much, we'll see. These tubs from Siobhan are obviously a lot easier because they're wider, I can fit my spoon in. Um, but she's just got a selection of neons 
she doesn't have um, other colours. So, so I do love the neons, but sometimes you want a pastel colour, etc. And you probably can like um, water them down to maybe get a pastel colour. Because um, these are all the colours Siobhan used when she makes her yarn. But um, I'm not that skilled to know yet. So we just we bought some other colours. So pull this in. Put the lid on, finger on the top, and I'll give that a shake. There we go. I'm going to go and get some more hot water because um, I've got one more blue that I want to do. Um, I might have a look at what my other colours are, see if I do something a bit, a bit different. Um, but yeah, so that's mixing up anyway, and I will come back and try and do a time lapse of me dyeing some yarn. See you in a bit. Bye. Hello. So um, yeah, I did a bit of a time lapse there just so you could see me faffing about with dyeing the uh, yarn. So I did hang them on the line and although it was very, very hot yesterday um, because they were obviously drip drying, they needed to finish off in the airing cupboard. Um, so I'll show you the two that we finished. Oh, sneak preview there. So here's the first one. So I haven't caked it yet. So here's the electric purple at the end. Um, the turquoise in the middle and then the blue jay at that end so obviously it's quite speckled it's not solid um probably like the toff looping yarn but i am going to cake that um and we'll see what it looks like once it's caked um but yeah so that's that one that we did yesterday and then probably the other one which i probably actually prefer but i planned this after um the first one colorway is here so we've got lilac into pink in the middle into hubba bubba at the end, which again has got some sort of some patchy bits here and there um, and sort of speckled isn't the word. I can't think of the word right now, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, so that one as well. So I thought obviously the pink bubbles, the lilac bubbles and that section in the middle. So we're going to cake that one as well and see what they, they come out like. They feel a slightly bit more fibrous i suppose is the word than the hand dye i've used before so this was the one that i said that i ordered um cover up my address there but it's from un yarn undyed and we bought five skeins of superwash merino and nylon so it is the 75 25 split um and it's dk weight um but yeah so that was the one that we i ordered that came to 28 pound including postage so it's 25 quid plus three pound postage so yeah so i mean i'm not displeased with it it just feels a little bit more coarser than the stuff i'm used to um but yeah i'm going to cake this up i think now and then i will come back and show you what they both look like caked just so we can see together how they've come out. So I'll catch you in a second. Welcome back. So I have just caked the two yarns, as you can see from that time lapse video. We've got one got a little bit stuck around the winder at one point with the loose end. So here we go. There's the first one, the pink, the lilac and the hubba bubba. Just looks pretty cool. 
Uh, they always look so different once you've coated them, I feel, because you've obviously got the mix of colours in between. So that's that one. And then this is the Electric Purple Turquoise and Blue Jay. So we shall see if they work for Lupin or if they look awful. We will give it a go and see. Um, but yes, I will hopefully come back and show you and see if one of these or both of them uh, has come out all right as a Lupin. But if not, at least we've got some jazzy, jazzy groovy yarn to use on something else. Yeah, quite pleased with how those have come out. Um, but yes, as always, thank you for watching. Um, I will maybe see what the weather's like next weekend. I don't, I don't really need to hand dye any, but um, if these work, then I might have a go. Um, yeah. So yes, have a good week. Uh, thank you as always for watching, and catch you next time. Take care. Bye.